Just wake up, wake up, bye PS. All right, all right. Okay, so this is how it all started, okay? Bibigyan ko lang kayo ng a little bit of timeline maybe that I can remember. Okay, but I'm gonna give you a milestone how it all started. Okay, uh, 2005, I got married, December 2005. So 2006, we migrated in Canada. Okay, and 2006, uh, early few months in Canada, wako po'y walang trabaho. So all I did is research, 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 right, over the web. Um, and then one time, you guys know the story, a friend of mine told me that I should put a AdSense on my website. AdSense is an advertising platform. You can make money on it uh, back in the day, even up to now naman, pero mas mara, should they say mas maganda naman. Uh, that was 2006. Okay, sabi niya, put this code in your website and when someone click on ad, you're gonna make money. Okay, back then, meron ako minamanage na discussion board ng youth, uh, Christian youth uh, organization. And I just put it there, yung AdSense, right? So ito yun, it all started in here. Okay, sabi na natin ito yung AdSense. Okay, let me... Just pause this again and be back here. Just give me a moment. Okay, hold on, guys. Reshum. Okay, right? So ito yun. Okay, ito yung AdSense. That's how we started. Sabi ko, lagay ko yung code, mm, okay. And after one year, I made like $100. Again, guys, this is my very first money online. I have no idea. I doubt it even. Pero sabi niya, lagay mo lang tong code na to and forget it. So that's what I did. Took me 12 months, guys. That's, that's, that's not a lot for one year. <laughs> okay. So anyway, this is where it all started. And then, of course, napunta na ako sa digital uh, publishing. Well, before that, uh, sabi ko, ba, pwede nga palang kumita sa AdSense, right? So that's how it started. Na I put up a website, a simple by uh, website lang with collection of Bible verses. Okay. Uh, pangalan ng top Bible verses dot com okay the income is again AdSense right so when someone clicks boom you make money so these are the things that my friend shared to me on how to make money online and then yun nga na kuha yung attention ko on how to create ebook or digital product. Dahil nakita ko dito, sa AdSense kasi, barya-barya lang yung kinikita mo. You need a lot of website visitors to make significant income. And then someone told me, well, if you want to make more money, you have to sell something over the web. So ano yun? Physical product? No, digital product? Hmm, interesting. Ebook. Okay? So dito nagsimula yung Yung collection of Bible verses. I think I name it like Eternal Truths to Live By. I forgot what it's called. Parang ganon eh. Eternal Truths to Live By or something. So this is yung Bible verses. Ito na yung medyo familiar kayo. Okay. It's Bible verses. So after that, uh, was good. Kumikita naman. But I said, really... You know, we <laughs> Bible verses, and there's so many verses over the internet, right? So, kumina naman siya, parang nandun siya sa okay stage. Again, this is just like mga aha moment ko. Okay, so from here, aha, pwede kang kumita online, right? In here, aha, pwede kang kumita sa ebook. Right? So, from here, dun ko na nag focus na, ah, okay, I have to work on the problem, pain, and frustrations of the market. 
which is what I've been teaching you guys. Because it is so much easier to sell something to someone who are in pain and then your ebook or your product will solve or will, will help them get rid of that pain, whatever that may be. Okay, so this is where it happened, your having Supreme Memory Book, okay, okay, that I sell started with $17. So I check it out, will it sell? Boom, kumita siya, right? Now, if you are in batch 26, I have a short video na pinablish was a Facebook page, Panorim Author Live Training, on how I came up with this and where did I get the product. Because tong $17 product, guys, this is coming from a public domain. I can't tell you the whole story yet dun sa batch 27. May kita nyo naman yung video dun sa Facebook group once you're a part of it. Dun sa batch 26, you, since you're now part of the Facebook group, you can just watch the story. Okay, this is not my content. I didn't write anything about this thing. But eventually, Katulad rin ang tinuturo ko sa inyo, version 2.1, right? Version 1.0, 2.0, you're always thinking of what could be the next step so you can improve your product. So that's what I did. So I improved this product, right? So I can charge more. I realized, oh, wow, I need to improve this product so I can charge more money. So I said I want to charge like $29 or $30. So I think it was like $29.95. Okay, so it improved ko to from old English to new modern English. And then I added also, sabi ko, audiobook. Well, actually, nauna pa yung worksheet muna. And then, nung kumikita na ako ng mas okay, then I added a work, work, audiobook. I hired someone to do the audiobook for me. So there you go. Okay. And then from here, okay, this is where I finally, you know, na, na sort of a crack the code, so to speak, that I need to, to build the list of subscribers and start selling here. So actually from from uh, from here pala, I'm already building subscribers. Okay. Email subscribers. Again, this is what I've been teaching you guys. Okay. So in here, lalong lumalaki. What I did is whatever money that I make, I reinvest in my business. Lalong lumalaki yung subscribers ko. Now, marami nang bumibili ng uh, Supreme Memory Book ko. This is the product who sold 17,000, over 17,000 ebooks, right? So this is where I finally created uh, multiple products for initially for memorizations. So I have uh, 47 software. I have uh, 147. Um, this is a physical product that I, again, makikita nyo to sa Facebook group physical product or I even demons uh, demonstrated or showed to you guys uh, what it looks like okay so $47 and then I have other multiple ebooks ranging from 17 to uh, from 17 to $47 digital products ebooks okay now this is how it all started, and then from there on, I've been into different niches, um, bigger market, and then somewhere in 2013, I talk about escapology. Um, so this started, this one uh, started summer 2006. Okay, and this is something like I don't know, I can't remember exactly. Uh, no, this is actually 2006. This is like somewhere 2007. This is somewhere 2008. It's whole, all, all started. So I've been over a decade now. Um, and then 2013, I started talking about what I do. So escapology.com. Okay. Initially, I'm just blogging. I'm not talking about ebook business at all. I'm just talking about business marketing, entrepreneurship, and some mindset. I don't want to talk about what I do for a living because I don't want people bothering me, asking me about what I do, what's my website, what product do I sell. 
Because Keo, when you first heard about me, that's probably the first thing that comes to your mind, right? Meron ba rito nag-research sa name ko sa Amazon? Or nag-research kayo ng John or Anna Books or eBooks? Anyone here? Some of you are, right? Because that's the first thing that you comes to your mind. Unfortunately, pag nag-search ka, wala kang makita <laughs> dahil may pen name. Because all throughout in here, I use a pen name. This Christian market ko, I use a pen name. I started initially my name. Siguro mga here, maybe up to some halfway in here, I use John Orana. And then, nung medyo nagkaka-interest na ako sa business, I'm start to talk about business. Mayroon akong old, old, old blog, yung anointed CEO na tinatawag ko. I start to blog about it, and I use also the John Arana. So now, some customers of mine or some prospects of mine, medyo nakukonfuse na sila. Sino ba itong John Arana? Ginugal ko eh. And then naglumabas is business. It's like, wait, so parang ganun. There's this even one time, right? Christian pa naman. <laughs> Remember, sir, Christian market, right? So very interesting. Cristiano pa naman, yung mga behavior. Um, accusing me of uh, scamming or anyone simply because they found my name in business. Like, how can I scam you? Right? There's no way, right? So anyway, so that's what happened. So I changed my name. Anyone here knows my pen name in a Christian market? Anyone? Can you type in if you do? There we go. I love the Jeffrey, right? Dawn and Dawn. Because I really would like this to have like a husband and wife sort of a ministry. Now, what's very interesting is before I come up with a Dawn and Dawn, I actually came up with six names ng mag -asawa. So six pairs. And then I surveyed my subscriber. Remember, by this time, may mga subscribers na ako, right? I asked them, say, hey, guys, I'm going to change my name as a publisher of this Christian e-newsletter. Okay. And here are the names that I, uh, these are my options. So can you please uh, vote which name would you prefer as a pen name? And si Don and Don ang mananalo. So since then, I've been using Don and Don. Okay? So, ang tatawa ko minsan, back in the day, I was writing email. I'm writing email. I was writing email. From time to time, uh, I accidentally put John. <laughs> hey, it's John here. Diba sa email ninyo, nababasa niyo ba sa akin? I, I normally start with, hey, it's John here. Instead, uh, hey, this is Don. Hey, it's Don here. Right? So, medyo close. But anyways, that all started. So, Escapology 2013, uh, I'm not selling anything at all. I'm just sharing my thoughts. But back in the day, alam ko na agad that I need to build subscribers. But I don't have product to sell early in this, this stage. I don't have a product to sell. Because I really, not, medyo hindi ko na sure kung what the, what the Philippine market is in terms of business, right? So, I start writing, start writing, and people are asking me about business and, and how to start a business in the online guys uh, like any other business like paano mag alaga alaga ng kabeng ano paano palaki yung uh, retail store niya like any other business right and of course yung challenge nila ng Sir John gusto mag negosyo but I don't know what I don't know where I don't know how to start right so do not wanna create ng first product or yung first steps of freedom Okay. Initially, this is actually a CD plus printed manual. So print. Shini ship ko to. We sell this for like 3,500. Uh, as we speak, I think uh, we've sold over uh, 3 million pesos uh, worth of this product. Okay. So ngayon print uh, digital product asya. So it's been a year, I think, or so. Okay. So 2013, and then I start selling this product, and okay lang. It's not a lot of money, but di naman ako nalulugi. 
because I already know how to market and sell. And what that's exactly what I've been teaching you, IBMC. Exactly what I've been teaching you. Okay, I'm not holding back anything. So this is what happened in 2013. And then as I keep doing this, lalo lumalaki yung subscribers ko. Right? Now I start to advertise on Facebook and lalong nag yung subscribers ko, followers ko. I don't know kung sino na yung pinakamatagal sa inyo na subscriber ko, pero yeah. So from here, I start to meet different people over the web, the internet. I, I message some of them. If I can interview them in my podcast, I used to have a podcast. Uh, meron pa rin naman yun. If you go to escapology.com, abandon na yan. We will be revising that this year, this coming 2019. Pero yun nga, I met different people over the web. And doot ko na meet sina Burns, sina Fitz Villaferte, na personal finance. And then from here, doon ko back in the day, medyo sikat pa yung blogging in the Philippines. Social media hindi pa masyado, pero blogging was popular then. And I'm making money sa blog ko, sa escapology.com. And then I met Fitz, who is also making good money sa blog niya. And sabi ko, Fitz, I have an idea. Okay, again, guys, during this time, John Rana is like nobody. Nobody. I'm unknown, right? And sabi ko, Fitz, uh, let's create a program. Yung Blog Academy. So this is the coaching program. This is the very first pro uh, coaching program that I actually release in the Philippines. So I think it's like uh, four weeks uh, of training and we teach them on how to define their niche market, target market, how to launch your blog, how to come up with content, how to monetize their blog and all those things. Okay, so I think this is like something 2013, 2014, uh, ganon, ganon range, the Blog Academy. Now, si Fitz is my uh, is my friend and he's in the personal finance, investing in stocks, mar stock market mar industry. Okay, so that's how it started. So, marami ako naging followers coming from the personal finance. Marami ako naging customers na they are mga financial advisors because mga followers sila ni Fitz. So I developed sort of a medyo nagkaroon ako ng konting traction, right? Because si Fitz is, I believe he, up to now, he, he has a huge following in blogging though. Kukunti na lang mga bloggers ngayon and there are more names that came out. Pero back in the day, he's on his industry, he's one of the most popular na na interview sa TV, sa newspaper, na quote sa Facebook, Quote. Blog niya, I believe, was the number one personal finance back in the day. I'm not sure even kung ganun pa rin. So anyway, we come up with yung Blog Academy. Okay? Blog Academy. We have about, uh, we did it about twice. Twice namin ginawa yan. For one and two. And then yun nga, nagkaroon ako ng mga following. And then about the same year siguro, 2014-2015. Again, di ko matandaan guys sa exact date. Okay? Uh, dahil nga nagkaroon ako ng mga following and all, kumita kami. Um, I think we made, uh, we made like, uh, siguro mga 1.2 million in here. Okay, I can't remember the exact number. Or it could be more. It could be more. Yeah, 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 it could be more. Because we did this twice and then mas marami kami sa dyan rito. Now, 2014-2015, sabi ko, I need to come up. Marami nga ang nagiging subscribers and they're asking me about stocks and mutual funds. Sabi ko, I have no idea about what you guys are talking about. I'm a business coach and this is what I do. It's about business. I don't know about investing and all that. Meron ba mga stock investors dito? Anyone here? Yung mga familiar with like Randall Chungson or, uh, or Chinky Tan or... Uh... So... That's how it started. So anyway, nagkaroon nga ako ng maraming subscribers um, from personal finance. Okay? And they're asking me about stocks. So sabi ko, okay, let's come up with another product. Again, these are all my ideas, guys. Hinihila ko lang itong mga tao nito because Fitz and other friends of mine, they have no idea how to sell something over the web. I mean, they sell something over the web, but not like the way I sell it. Okay, not the way I teach you guys with really massive results. Okay, just gonna give you an example. So Black Academy, we charge like 10,000 pesos for a coaching. Very cheap. Okay, pero before I even ask Fitz, 
he charges like 1,500 pesos. Okay. So he's not making and and ano pa yun? Um face to face pa yun, guys. He has to rent a place, he has to be there physically. It's a lot of work. Okay? So he's a lot of work. So he made a lot of money from working with me. So in here, your monetary system, this one we made over like 700 yung initial kita, and then we turn it into product. So mga over, I don't know, siguro one, one to two million din to. Can't remember. Coaching product. What I, the, the best thing with the monetary system is I am not the teacher. I'm just a bridge. I'm just a host. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na kahit hindi kayo expert in your market, this will work. Okay? All you have to do is contact all these experts, create a product, bring them in, and sell it to the market. That's how it all started. Okay? So, we made money on this one about, again, 1 to 2 million in total. Kasi ito yung coaching live. Then they record namin, then we sell it as a product, okay? And then from here, again, people are asking me, Sir John, what do you do for a living? Remember, guys, up to this point, I'm not talking about how to sell over something over the web. I'm not talking about how to sell ebooks, digital products, video courses, coaching program. I haven't talked about that. Again, I don't want people to bother what I do behind the scene. Do you guys are getting it, right? So I'm just teaching them something, but I'm not teaching them my business model. But eventually, my follower, followers grew, right? Yung Facebook page ko actually, uh, probably is a third na yata yan. Siguro kung hindi ako na-suspend before, <laughs> I got suspended by, by Facebook. Yung early stage kasi in the Facebook, I didn't do anything wrong. But yung early stage kasi na Facebook, when they release yung advertising, Dumagsa ang mga advertisers, nagpanik sila. Anything that they see that looks like a scam, again, that looks like a scam, they're going to suspend you for no explanation at all. No explanation, no way for them to contact them, no way for, for you to email them, no way for you to chat or call them, unlike ngayon, meron na. This was their early stage. So I got suspended. Siguro, I lost about maybe... Um, 150,000 followers back back then sa Facebook. So really, by this time, dapat meron ako mga about, I don't know, 400 followers sa Facebook. So that's what happened. It happens, right? I have to move on. This is something that entrepreneur, as entrepreneur is built on. We are built on, if you make mistake, if I fail, I gotta get up and move on. No whining, no crying, no nothing. Just get up, clean yourself up, and continue. Okay? That's the attitude you should uh, be, you should have. Okay, hindi yung konti nga, wala ko ma-hire na freelancer. Ah, hindi ko makita yung niche ko. Ah, hindi ko ma-adjust yung webpage yung ginawa ko. Then you easily give up. Okay? You gotta develop that entrepreneur mindset. Okay, I'm letting you guys know, so para alam rin nyo rin na it wasn't easy. So, again, going back to the story, this was the time na talagang marami na akong followers and people are asking me every single day, no exaggeration, I'm re receiving a couple of email and messages, what exactly do you do for a living? Oh, sabi ko, I sell ebooks in a Christian market. So, that's where I uh, surveyed my subscribers and say, Sabi nila, tinanong ko, are you guys interested to know how to sell ebooks and digital products? Again, even up to this time, I don't want to talk about my website, where are my books. I'm not talking about that maybe after 10 batches ng IBMC. That's how I am secretive about my business. But really, if you are uh, a good researcher, mafi-figure out mo naman eh. Kasi hindi ko naman talagang pinagong-pinago. It's just that I'm not like open with it. That makes sense? Because when you make, whenever you make a purchase to my website, you pay a credit card, you will automatically receive a receipt. And that receipt will show up my business name. So all you have to do is just Google my business name and you will see my website. Okay, so it's not really 
a secret. It's just that I'm not open for it. Okay. So that's how or where I started IBMC 2000. Uh, within about the same year, I think 2015. I can't remember 2014, 2015. About the same year. Kasi mabilis naman eh, right? So that's how it started. IBMC. Now IBMC alone, we've made over 70 million in revenue. Okay. 70 million in revenue. I'm doing this from home. You guys know this. This is what I do. It's not a secret. The reason I'm showing you guys this is not to impress you, but to impress upon you what you can do if you just follow the blueprint that I've been sharing with you guys. Okay. Now, what is the core message of all the story that I've been sharing with you guys? Okay, what is the core stories? Okay, the key lesson, if there's like this one single lesson that you can take from our from our today, tonight na si Rita, from our today's QA is this. Remember back in 2006 when I just migrated? I am jobless, I have no money, I just got married. Remember this time? Right? If I didn't take the action in here, let's just say this one. Hindi ko to kinuha. Then walang connection siya dito. Then wala siyang connection dito. Then wala siyang connection rito. Here, here, here. All these things that happened to me, to you, to everyone, to IBMC. All these things wala po if I didn't take If I didn't say, commit myself, if I didn't launch this website, if I didn't launch my very first ebook, na collection of Bible verses, would you, would you believe that? It's like, are you, are you out, out of your mind? You're gonna create an ebook with collection of Bible verses, and you go to a hotel, pag bukas mo ng side table ng hotel, may libring Bible run. If I didn't take that first step, my friend, you see this number, this could be more by the end of, by 2019, I don't know, we could probably hit 100 million. I don't know, that's my goal. This won't happen, my friend, if I didn't take that first action. And guess where most people got stuck on? The first step, here. They don't want to take action. They don't want to make mistakes. They don't want to take risk. They want the reward. Wow, that's much money, Sir John. Wow, ang sarap. Wow, ang galeng. Wow, honey. This is where they're focused on. They didn't see the journey. If you will count the years, guys, it took me some time. But... Back then, guys, I have no coach. I have no IBMC. I don't even know Filipino doing this. Not one single Filipino do what I do. There's no Facebook group to ask around. Classmates to brainstorm with. Coach to email or attend a weekly q and I have none of those. You guys have all these amazing opportunities. And back in the day, guys... Building a website, though I was a web designer, oh, bo, 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 it's a lot of work. Now, click, 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 ka lang, boom, may sarili ka ng website. Remember, all the tools that are been teaching you guys, especially sa IBMC 26. Yung 27, medyo bago pa sila, you know, na wala pa sila sa, maram, wala pa silang, Alam masyado sa marketing and selling. But that's okay. For the batch 26, you guys know all the all the tools. Back in the day, marami sa tools na yun, hindi, they, they don't exist. Yung mga automation, they don't exist. If someone buys from me, I have to move them to another bucket manually. 
dahil ayoko na silang makareceive ng marketing materials ko. I connect all the dots from connecting a PayPal, doing a refund, how to write sales copy, how to automate all these things so I can work less and enjoy my time with my family, with myself. That first step, my friend, is important. Now, can I guarantee you, Sir John, can you guarantee me you will get the same result? Can guarantee me that I'll get the same result as much as you? Of course I cannot. Nobody can. You could make less, maybe just 10% of what I made. Or you can surpass me like 100 times more. Who knows? But again, nothing will happen if you don't take that step first, first, first step. Okay? You stop blaming the government. You stop blaming the system. You stop blaming your spouse. You stop blaming your coach. Why this thing didn't work? You got to get up. Stand up. Take action 2019. There are only two things that will happen, guys. December of 2019, you're going to look back. There are only two things may happen. You're going to look back. You gotta make a regrets. 12 months na ang dumaan. You are stuck in the job that you hate. You're making pretty much the same money. You are one year older. It looks like you're not going anywhere. Or you have an amazing life. A life that your friends can only dream of. You have a very successful online business. There are two students. Just imagine there are two students enrolled right now and there are only two of you listening in this program. Someone, one took action, one did it. After 12 months, this one is making good money. This one, he's still stuck in a job that he hates. He's looking for another business opportunity to start. What's the difference? It's not the system. It's not a program. It's not the coach. It's not the IDMC program. It's not the Facebook group because they both have the same access to the same resources. The difference is this one took action. This one is keep whining and pointing fingers. So which one are you guys? This one who take action or this number two who be whining? That will be your decision, my friend. It's not mine. I've shown you guys, nakita ninyo yung timeline. You don't have to go through those years that I've been through. I gave it to you in just eight weeks. But you have to take action. Okay? But you have to take action. I already showed you how to fish. Now go out there and start fishing. Okay, now to answer some questions in here. Well, first, may natutunan ba kayo sa story that I share with you guys tonight, today? May natutunan ba kayo? Type yes if you do, type no. Okay, so I just hope that guys, this will open up your eyes. Okay, because... When, when I look on my left, when I look on my right, all I see is opportunities. Business opportunities and amazing opportunities. This web has created us. This is the best time. I cannot think of any other before us. The best time for to become an entrepreneur. Maraming umaman sa Philippines like Jollibee or si Henry C. Remember guys, when he started all these businesses, down on mga market. Asian market, it was so hard for them. So much harder for them to succeed back in the day. Nagkaroon na ko yung story ni Henry C. When he was thinking to build this like mga mega mall and all. Meron dong Asian uh, crisis, oil crisis yata, yung may gera pa sa Iraq. And like, it is hard. Sa atin, with the web, with the ability to market and sell over the web, oh boy, you don't even know where to start. With so many opportunities. 
with so many opportunities. And like every day I've been approached. I have one student who just recently I teach him, I teach her how to put up her own coaching program. Right? And sabi ko dun sa mga baguhan, sabi ko, if you're just starting, kung medyo hindi ka pa confident, that's okay. You start with 15,000. You know how much she charge? 100,000 pesos for a group coaching program. She messaged our team. She just need 10 students a month, my friend. That is 1 million in revenue. And coaching like what I am doing right now, sitting in my office, teaching people. Before the internet, how can someone possibly make a million all from home? Hindi lumalabas ang bahay. How? Tell me. I hope, guys, you guys gotta wake up. 2019, you gotta wake up. I have many students. I cannot, di ko na, pope, di ko na isa isahin. I have so many students. You gotta, you can talk to them. You gotta meet them. If you attend the Lifestyle Entrepreneur Summit, you're gonna meet a lot of them. That's why I keep telling, I'm doing this annual event so that you guys can see. Kaya nga sabi ko this is the only event that we prioritize lifestyle over profits. Lifestyle because the reason we start a business so we can enjoy our lives. Not because having a mansion, a nice car. I mean, that there's nothing wrong with that. I may buy a big house someday. I may have a multiple car someday. There's nothing wrong with that. But ultimately, it's a time with the family, time with yourself, spiritually, physical growth, mental growth, okay? Your health, okay? That's why we started a business. And the Lifestyle Entrepreneur Summit, that is our focus. How can we have this successful business, make as much money as we want without killing ourselves? Because maraming negosyante dyan, alam niyo yan. They're so busy. They don't have time with their family. They make good money, but they don't have the family. They don't have time to take care of themselves. It's not a secret. You guys know those things. Okay. Now, to answer some question here, Jeffrey, I'm still having difficulties finding keywords interest on my niche market. FB ads, in FB ads, any further tips? Po? Jeffrey, when you try to, to, to target a certain market, it's not necessarily the keyword. Think about what are their interests. Think about what are their um, possible habits, books they read, experts that they follow, okay? Uh, places they, they, they hang out. Do they have certain professions that it seems that they matches together? Degrees, okay? Age bracket. Okay, because I have many students, uh, Sir, Sir John, I want to teach stocks for young people. Yeah, I got to tell you, I got to study who are the stock market investors. And you will see my certain age bracket. Yan. Okay, so those are mga titignan mo. Mga pages they follow, books that they read, experts that they follow. Do they have uh, certain prof professions? Do they have what hobbies they don't normally have? Um, do they have kids or not? Uh, ano, yung, yun nga, ano yung age bracket nila? And all those things. So ito yung papastok yung customer avatar, Jeffrey, that you're imagining this one customer. So think about that. Okay. Tanong ni Jeffrey, relate much coach. Uh, kakasal din ako and job best before IBM. See, really thankful to me. Actually, this is the awakening away for me. I've been following your email since 2016. Maraming salamat, Jeffrey. I really appreciate your trust, guys. Uh, I really appreciate, guys, everyone's trust. Okay? Denver, thanks, coach. I'm waiting for the right and almost explode every time I encounter seminars like this. Wait for it. It's just between you and me for now. Okay, can't wait. Can't wait, Denver. Let's go. Let's do this. Evangeline, thank you sa lahat ng advices po po. It's really up to us. It was coming up. See in this business. That is right. Okay. Sir John, topic po sana or niche about Amazon. Okay po kaya. 
Amazon, like what do you mean Amazon? <laughs> Gerson, if you are like how to become a virtual assistant, I know I have students made millions on that. I, I can feel the sincerity for encouragement. Maraming salamat. Though, for some reason, hindi lumabas yung name mo, whoever you are. Thank you for your, for your message. Davi, uh, Davin. Hi, Sir John. Mindset is very important. My expectation was really you to teach us how to do stuff, but I really realized I still have the employee mindset. Yes. Even if I teach you the techniques, the step-by-step, -step, you must correct your mindset. Because here's the truth. It is 80% psychology, what's in your head, 20% lang yung mechanics, yung how-to. But for most of you, you probably enrolled for what reason? For the mechanics. But success is 80% in here, 20% in mechanics. So I might this year release a uh, the product or program for personal development. It's not really kasi, should they say, parang the market that you want to go in. Pero nakikita ko kasi na ito yung some of the biggest uh, missing piece for aspiring entrepreneurs is the mindset. They have to correct the mindset that you have, that your focus is about building business, creating value to your market, and not just to make money. Because ang common mistake is, Sir John, I want to make 5 million. Sir John, I want to attain 10 million. Sir John, I want to buy this house. That's all nice. It's good if you have goals rather than no goals at all, other rather than no ambition at all. But your focus it should be, how can I serve this much market so that in return, they were going to give me the money? The hat nam products ko, it serves a problem. It solves a certain problem from collection Bible verses to how to memorize Bible verses to how to grow your faith in God how to study the Bible, uh, finances for Christians, and so on and so forth. It solves a certain problem. Okay, your first module natin is knowing this, right? How to go to Facebook group, what are the problem, pain, frustrations of the market, okay? Um, okay, hold on, guys. I think I kind of miss a certain part in here. Lahat po ay tumama sa sinabi mo, sabi ni Luis. Okay, let's get it on, Luis. Yes, I can't, I can't, I can't wait for you guys, okay? Uh, Maria, thanks, coach. I tried some traditional business didn't work. I'm praying for the right business. I believe this is it. This is it, guys. This is it. Um, by... You IBM C26, I think you will be on a paid advertising next week yata. You will see there how, how this business, now even if you have little resources, you can market to a lot of people. Little resources in more accurate number. Okay. Tanong ni Michael, um, is it possible to create a need in your niche market? I did not find any discomfort words using Facebook groups, but found bits and pieces reading between the line in a certain online forums. Michael, um, let me just use the right words, okay? You can create, okay, let me step back a little, Michael, okay? You cannot create desires. Because desires is pre-existing, but you can create demand for your product as long as it is associated with their desires. Do I make sense, Michael? So, for example, it is human nature that we, as a human being, would like to have a mate, a partner, okay? That is that innate desire. 
Now, sabihin na lang natin in the market, for example, there is no one selling dating advice. No one is selling about how to help single men, ordinary looking men, or say, single middle-aged men in their 40s, single pa sila, na shy on how to approach women. Okay? That might be, because that's, there's a desire for them still to have a partner, but the problem is they don't know. They don't know that there is a product that actually teaches them that. So you can do that, but you cannot create desires but you can create a product that will solve or meet those desires i hope michael i make sense leonard you mentioned business name earlier do you need business okay for uh, just just for paypal use for paypal use lang uh leonard um the good thing about a business is you don't have to go through all the barangay clearance and the SEC and the BIR and the sanitary clearance and the fire protection clearance and mayor's permit and all those garbage. Okay? Na meron sa traditional business. You can just like launch your business, start selling. Once kumita ka na, just to work, before you start, before you, you, you register. Now, I'm not advising guys. I'm not a lawyer at all. Okay, so just be careful. But I'm not trying to say that you guys avoid taxes. I really believe that give Caesar, I don't know, sabi give it a, uh, I forgot what is it called. Nakalimutan ko na yung code. Parang sabi sa Bible, parang give it to God what is due to God and give it to Caesar what is due to Caesar. I believe in that. But I don't believe that you have to Think about all these permits na hindi ka pa nga nakakabenta ng isang ibo. <laughs> okay? Because I want you to focus on building your business. Sell as, as soon as you can before you worry about all these things. Not, it will only waste your time and energy. Okay? Carl, thanks for joining for this inspirational story. Action speaks louder than words. That is right, guys. Faith without action is... Anyone can fill in the blank? Faith without action is dead. Exactly. Pray ka ng pray, hindi ka naman kumikilo. Sa mangyari? Warlay. Okay. Uh, I really have to hear this coaching over and over again to create more fire in me and more. Rai. Ah, si Rai pala yun. Yes, Rai. That is why yung Q&A natin is all recorded so you guys can hear it over and over and over again. Download it on your cell phone, okay? Guys, use your cell phone, okay, to your advantage. Download all the recording here. Buy a cheap headset. It doesn't have to be the Super Beats brand. Get a cheap one, okay? Save all our training. Put it in your pocket. Listen to it over and over and over and over again. Nakapila ka, sasakay ng FX. Sasakay ka ng bus. Nakapila ka, magwi-withdraw sa ATM. Magsusukat ka ng pantalon. Mag-grocery ka. Maguhugas ka ng pinggan. Maglilinis ka ng bahay. Listen to this again and again and again and again. That's how you feed your brain, my friend. You cannot just like listen one time, boom, gets mo na. No. That's not how it works. That's not how our brain works. Because our brain natin, lagi na i-interact. Napapagod, right? Though it is very powerful, pero yun nga minsan, yun ang disadvantage. So powerful, some of you, naman nakaupo ngayon, nakikinig ka, nakabukas, pero ang isip mo naman nasa somewhere else. O nanonood ka ng TV, o nagbabrowse ka ng Facebook. Hey, you're kidding yourself, my friend. Okay? Pay attention. This is not about me. This is about you. This IBMC is not about my future. This is about your future. Okay? So, 
I'll add this ideally for a starter who has just learned about this business. How many ebooks should be released in a year? Yung manageable, manageable lang siya for starter like us. Um, Alan, what I suggest is you first release your first ebook and then let the market tells you what to do next. Anong ibig si DM? Because you can outline some 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 plan, which is good, kesa sa walang plan, okay, Alan. But what if you plan ebooks and then once you start to sell an ebook and then your market tells you, wala ka bang video courses, wala ka bang audio books, right? So that's where you that's where uh, you should go. You let the market decide where to go, where you should go. It's like any other successful business, it's the market. It's not their opinion. It's not their idea. It's the market tells them where to go. So if you will see the one that in your screen, whatever that flow na nangyari po sa business ko, sa buhay ko, that is dictate ng market. It's not me. Okay? So there you go, Alan. That makes sense, Alan? Because, I don't know, maybe after the first ebook mo, people are asking you, Sir Alan, can you coach me? Boom. Then go to straight to coaching program. Right? Or some people naman, Sir Alan, uh, wala ba kayong ebook about this topic? Then you know where it goes. Right? If, if talagang marami yung market mo, and you can splinter the topic, you can probably release two books, uh, rather one book every two months. Okay, Alan? So, focus mo lang muna, one ebook, and then let the market decide. Because once na may mga customers na kayo, yun nga ang maganda guys eh. Ito yung kinukwento ko sa inyo kanina, the one that you're seeing on your screen. You will never know what the market really wants until you start selling. We can do the best that we can in market research and all that and all that, right? I gave you how to do that just like to hopefully shot. But really, ultimately, it is the market that will decide. Not your friends, not your friend, a smart entrepreneur, okay, not anyone. The most important opinion in your business are the people who took out their credit card, pay you. Sila. Okay, kahit na ibigay mo sa best friend mo yan, or sa English professor mo yan, or whoever merong master's degree, PhD degree, whatever, you respect their opinion. But ultimately, mas mabigat ang opinion na ng tao na nagbayad. Okay, guys? Yun yun. Hindi yung asawa nyo. Hindi yung boyfriend mo. Okay? So, there you go. Batch 26, meron po kaming group chat. PM para i-add. Okay. Bernie, post mo sa Facebook group natin. Okay? Call out all IBMC 26. And then, invite, invite mo sila sa group chat. Joseph, Sir John, ang focus ko po ay maging topic ko from security guard to become a business owner. Wow. And now, start market trader. Very good. May nag-offer kasi sa akin, nagawa na ako ng ebook, pero gusto ko ako gumawa. Para sa sarili ko sila nakikita. Para sa sarili ko sila pakikita ng story ko. That is right, Joseph. And that is, that is another thing about our business, guys. Because your own story, okay, listen up, listen up. Diba, narinig nyo sa business whenever you attend a seminar or coaching or uh, you read a book. You heard about those mga unique selling prophecy, proposition. It's like, what makes your product unique? Diba, narinig nyo yun, right? And you will hear different advice and so on and so forth. Frankly, mahirap maging say in a market na may competition and say, you simply say, my, mar my product is better. Mahirap yun. I'm not saying that you don't pursue it. Okay, pero mas mahirap yun. But if you have that story, that makes your product unique at all. That makes your product unique. That is your unique selling proposition. From security guard to become an entrepreneur to become an investor, stock investors. Because let's just say, Joseph, I'm going to go into that market. I cannot compete with you in that. Like you have your own story. Which is, that's an amazing story. I'm not, I don't have that compelling story. 
So that will make you stand out in the market. Okay, Joseph? Jeffrey, coach, I have read that FB prioritized websites with complete policies, blah, blah, blah. How do you, how about these policies? Where do we get this? Uh, ba yun? Yes, may mga Jeffrey, may mga template that you guys can use. Meron din sa mga Upwork that you can hire someone, but I believe there are templates. If you are in the IBM C26, uh, Jeffrey, I'm not sure. Meron na pag usapan yan sa Facebook. Okay, maybe search mo na lang kung ano yung ginamit ng mga... Meron na kasing mga tipong mga fill-in-the-blank templates na lang eh. Okay? Marian, is there a way to save a copy of some of the study modules offline? Uh, unfortunately, yung mga Q&A lang natin, Marian, yung downloadable. Uh, this is really just to protect our program. Okay? Connie, coach, can you show us, share me an example of websites that's selling ebooks? Technically, medyo naliligaw ako, coach. I really have a niche, but I really don't have an idea on how a website that sells ebook looks except for online shopping sites. Connie, are you what batch are you? Are you just you just joined us two weeks ago? Or are you in a batch 20? Uh, batch uh, 26, uh, Connie. Connie, last batch. Okay, so you just joined. Okay, so Connie, I'm going to share you guys in here. Pero I, I won't go into the details, Connie, because dadaanan natin to. Okay, the selling and marketing, i-cover natin yan. Wala tayong la palalampasin. Okay, kaya lang, uh, I don't want you to be ahead of the program. Now, without you thinking about your niche in your market and outlining your product first. Because there's really no point of me telling you how to sell it if you don't have a product yet, di ba? But I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. This is one of my product. Probably the best-selling ebook ever, okay? This is Supreme Memory Book. Okay, I won't go into the details. Pero yung, uh, yung batch 26, who just joined us about, uh, I don't know, six weeks ago. Alam nyo na what this is, what this is, okay? This is my ebook, okay? And this is for $30, okay? This thing still sells, okay? Again, I won't go into the details right now sa batch 27 dahil da mayroon po tayong specific in here. Pinakita ko lang sa'yo, Connie, what does it look like? So this is just a one simple page that talks about what you do how you do it, how you can help them, and then offer them the product. Okay, Connie? So, there you go. Um, if you go to Negocio University, guys, you will see some of my programs in there. It's the same thing. Okay, this is what it looks like naman sa LES, yung Lifestyle Entrepreneur Summit. Okay, it's the same thing, guys. Whether I sell ebook, coaching program, audio courses, video courses, or even if I sell seminar, it's the same process okay so this is the sales page this is what it looks like connie so though this is this is where i sell a ticket for my seminar on january 19 okay but imagining mo ebook lang rin yung product it's the same thing it's the same in here boom you click here order it's a philippine market always add deposit okay because many of our filipino Kababayan natin, they don't have credit cards. So you should always give them option to pay you. Ideally, you want to add like Louvillier and all that. Um, it is something that I'm working on my business right now. Dahil yung iba gusto magbayad through them. Eh, something na hindi pa masyado familiar. Para mga remittance, uh, I forgot what what are they called. Yung mga, yung mga, yun nga, yung mga Louvillier, uh, Palawan Express or something like that. Okay, um, Bernie, okay ba tong nagawa kong ebook? How to bully proof your child inside the school? Bully, uh, sorry, bully. Bernie. <laughs> Bernie, you have to research the market. I don't know if there's enough market for that. I'm sure as a father, I'd like to know that because I can see sa Amazon may mga books. So at least from the way I see it, my answer is yes but you still have to do your research okay bernie and i showed you guys how to do that some module one other 
because marami akong niche market na hindi alam. Okay? Like, most of them hindi ko alam. So if I say yes, you say no, without me researching it, I will never really know. Right? And nakikita ko lang from the outside, my answer is yes, but you have to do your research. Okay, Dav uh, Bernie? So, Davin, Sir John, does it mean that each ebook must have each website or ebooks one website? Sales copy means the benefit of the ebook, right? Okay. Pag sinabi natin website, guys, libro, book. Pag sinabi mong book, maraming pages. Right? So, pag sinabi mong book, maraming pages, sa uh, in what we do, you only need one website but have multiple pages. So, kung tatlo, say, yung product mo, then you have three pages that sells yung sales copy for each product. Okay? Wala bang tax na babayaran pag internet business? Meron. It's like any other business out there. How much? That's I don't know. You got to talk to accountant or anyone who knows. Okay. Any more questions, guys? Marian, uh, your landing pages are all standalone pages or are they always connected to a blog and are supported with, uh, are supported with mailers? Um, it's not connected with the blog, Marian, so uh, it's always a separate page. So that's, and our, the next question mo is, are supported with mailers? What do you mean by supported by mailers, Marian? So I have a page that has a purpose of getting email subscribers. So if you are in an IBM C26 batch, so you should know about that. Kung you just joined us two weeks ago, do not worry. Iko cover natin yon on how to build email subscribers. Okay, so those uh, batch twenty or two weeks ago. Okay, so do not worry. Iko cover natin yon. Okay, so ngayon nandut kasi sa stage of picking your niche market, the topic, and then outlining your first product. So if you, again, do you have any questions about outlining your product? I gave you the tools that I use, how I outline my product, which is your mind map. Um, again, whether I create seminar, audio courses, video courses, coaching program, I use the same strategy. Okay? Okay. So, uh, guys, kung wala na po kayong question, uh, I really appreciate your time. Kung meron man ako na miss, do not worry. Uh, you can send us an email. But I really appreciate that you guys are joining me this morning. Okay? And I appreciate every second that you spend listening to what I'm saying or what I'm about to say. And I hope na magkita-kita po. As always say, we're gonna see you guys at the top. And enjoy every second with your family. And enjoy this journey. This will be a fun roller coaster ride that you guys are in. I'm telling you, you're gonna love this journey, okay? Last question na lang ni Carl. Can we show our Lefinish outline products? No, uh, Carl, that is because I cannot really comment sa outline ng product niyo because I don't have idea sa target market niyo. So I don't know what will work, what won't work, and yung content na hinahanap ng market mo. I don't know. So that is something that you have to trust yourself based on your research. Again, you guys now are entrepreneurs. You have to learn to trust yourself. Okay? So sayang na late si Rafael. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Rafael. And Merry Christmas nga pala. Dahil ang next training na natin will be, uh, you guys will be uh, training with Coach Maf Mafe on uh, December 29th. So Merry Christmas, guys. Uh, wala man lang akong pasalubong sa inyo. <laughs> wala man lang ako na-receive na Christmas gift sa inyo. So anyways, for those who will be uh, left at Entrepreneur Summit, magkita-kita po tayo. Again, uh, enjoy the season. Huwag kayong magpa-stress. Huwag kayong masyado magbabasa ng mga news. 
in fact, get rid of that so that you have this positive outlook in life. Okay? So muli po, maraming maraming salamat and talk to you guys again on our next training and have a great day. Bye-bye.